And we have breaking news out of the NFL where the Steelers are trading Kenny Pickett to the Eagles. That has been confirmed by our senior NFL insider Jonathan Jones. Kenny Pickett drafted in the first round back in 2022 by the Steelers. Started 12 games for them last season before suffering an ankle injury. Eventually falling behind Mitch Trubisky and Mason Rudolph in the pecking order there. He will now get a fresh start in Philly where he will be the backup to Jalen Hurts. Taking a look at the details of the trade, Pittsburgh will swap third round picks with Philadelphia with two seventh rounders in 2025 also heading to the Steelers. Keep in mind the quarterback room in Pittsburgh now has one name, Russell Wilson, and that's it. So let's welcome in JJ and Lije Duzable here. JJ, our senior NFL insider, let's start with you. Uh, we saw Russ, Russ go to the Steelers and now Kenny Pickett's out. How'd this go down? Well, look, Russell Wilson is getting paid $39 million and really $38 million to not play with the Denver Broncos. And so, of course, the Steelers getting him on the cheap, only having to pay him $1.2 million. And so he wanted to strike early uh, before free agency started, before any musical chairs began. He wanted to find himself a home. So he goes to Pittsburgh. And uh, honestly, it was never really going to be a quarterback competition or a duel once they got into training camp, it was going to be very clear and obvious that Russell Wilson presented the Pittsburgh Steelers with the better chance to win football games over Kenny Pickett, who in his short time has struggled through two years, only throwing 13 touchdown passes. Get this, Matt Ryan has thrown more touchdown passes since Kenny Pickett entered the league. And Matt Ryan has been our colleague at CBS for more than a year. So um, obviously it has been a struggle for Kenny Pickett and uh, you know now he needed to go find somewhere else to go this is that second third wave of free agency where teams are figuring out their backup quarterback situation I know that the Eagles were sniffing around on Desmond Ritter to be a backup before he was traded to the Arizona Cardinals yesterday and so now they get Kenny Pickett to back up Jalen Hurts and now we have a Pittsburgh Steelers team that unquestionable the week one starter is Russell Wilson, but of course, they're going to have to backfill and get themselves a backup here soon. Lije, we can go two directions with this. You want to talk about the Pittsburgh side of things, uh, having Russell Wilson and no one else, or that the Eagles get a pretty solid backup in Kenny Pickett. Which way? You get, you get to pick, my friend. Oh, I like that. I get options here. Uh, I, let me speak a little bit about both of them, man. Honestly, when you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers, a little bit surprised, and I think J.J. laid it out perfectly. This was never a scenario where it was going to be an open quarterback competition, which is a bit surprising to me. Yes, Russell Wilson had a nice bounce back gear in regards to throwing for 66 uh, completion percentage and he had a positive touchdown to interception ratio but when you turn the film on a lot of things that still concern you is him throwing in timing now with Arthur Smith's offense coming over from Atlanta the thing that Russell Wilson tends to struggle to do is throw in the middle of the field and that's what Arthur Smith is going to want him to do so a little bit surprised that Mike Tomlin and the Steelers are going all in on Russell Wilson maybe they saw that we saw the, the progression from him last year, and they feel like that's going to continue to trend up. But the thing is, J.J., you've covered this game for a long time. When you're a quarterback learning a new system, it's usually tough that first year. So we saw how Russell really struggled in Denver. Now, again, there were other problems there besides learning the playbook, but a little bit surprised that this wasn't an open competition, especially when you take Kenny Pickett just two years ago in the first round. And Speaking of the Eagles part of this, J.J. spoke to that as well, saying they were looking for a viable backup, which to me is very smart because we learned last year you're one play away from playing your backup quarterback. I mean, look at the Las Vegas Raiders, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns who played five different quarterbacks, the Minnesota Vikings who played multiple quarterbacks as well. You have to have a viable backup, and I think that's why we've seen teams be aggressive in regards to taking former first-round picks. We saw... Mike Mac Jones go for a six round pick. Kenny Pickett get, uh, a few pick swaps to go to the Philadelphia Eagles because teams realized last year if you don't have a viable backup and your starter goes down, then essentially your season is over. So I like the move by the Philadelphia Eagles. And for Kenny Pickett, he gets a fresh start, but a little surprising that, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers are going all in on Russell Wilson this year. You never know, Kenny Pickett could be uh, Nick Foles number two. Uh, JJ, going back to the Steelers here, I mean, what do they do with a backup quarterback? Where do they turn for that? They have the 12th overall pick in the draft. I don't know if they'd want to draft somebody, if they find somebody floating out there. Uh, what do you think the Steelers turn to give Russ some backup? 
Amanda, I was waiting for when we got to the Justin Fields portion of this segment. So can, can we talk about Justin Fields? We can. can yes, can we yes, yes. We've Justin all been waiting Fields? to see what's going to happen with Justin Fields. So if, if maybe this I didn't know if we moves Jay your brain was, somewhere. If he was going to touch on him first, if it was going to be me, so <laughs> I win. I get to say Justin Fields' name first. Um, yeah. Look, I don't know where Justin Fields is going to wind up. Well, I mentioned musical chairs earlier. I mean, really, the music's about to stop, and there's not going to be a chair for Justin Fields. And a number of teams have signaled that they are not interested in him. I've gone through this exercise the last couple of days uh, around the league with teams. Hey, are, are you interested? And I've heard from teams just flat out no. Not like, oh, yeah, we'll trade a six-rounder for him. Just no. And I don't think that the Chicago Bears necessarily want to give Justin Fields away. In fact, I know that they don't, but they're going to be faced, of course, with uh, how long they keep him around, whether that is a viable option uh, as we get closer to the draft. Once we get to the draft, once they take Caleb Williams, once we get to spring workouts. So uh, a number of questions that have to be answered, but you look at teams that certainly need backup quarterbacks that, okay, Russell Wilson getting a little long in the tooth, right? Uh, bounce back as Lige uh, correctly noted, uh, really well at the second half uh, of last season, really the last two-thirds of the season, even though he got benched for uh, play-related reasons, uh, certainly some contract-related reasons there as well. So the Steelers are going to have to get a backup quarterback. There are not that many that are going to be available. Top of my head, Carson Wentz is still floating out there. Um, but, you know, if you can determine that you're willing to give up whatever the Bears would like to get and it's not what they would like to get it's what they're going to get for Justin Fields and maybe he can be a guy in Arthur Smith's scheme but that's going to be the name that's going to be the place that a lot of people are going to try to connect but I don't know that the Steelers should be in any rush to go trade for Justin Fields because it doesn't look like any of the other teams are in any rush to go trade for Justin Fields. Yes, JJ, you might have beat me on the show, but literally when we got this breaking news, go look at my Twitter feed. That was the first thing I tweeted was, if I'm the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm, <laughs> I'm putting a call in to the Chicago Bears and seeing what it would take to get Justin Fields. And JJ, you have to be wondering, when Mason Rudolph decided to sign with the Tennessee Titans, was this already in the plans for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Because if it was, my thing is, why wouldn't they try to bring back Mason Rudolph? We saw what he did down the stretch last year and played really well besides one or two throws in that playoff game versus the Buffalo Bills. So a little perplexed that they didn't try to bring Mason Rudolph back knowing or maybe knowing that they were going to trade Kenny Pickett. But to me, Justin Fields makes a lot of sense. We talked about Russell Wilson having a quote-unquote you know, bounce back year towards the end of the season. You talked about his age factor going into this as well. Why not put a viable young backup behind him? Because we just spoke about it, JJ. So many backup quarterbacks played last year. Justin, getting Justin Fields, getting to a new team sometimes as a young player, you just need to go to a new place and start over. Maybe this could be what Justin Fields needs. And who knows if Russell Wilson doesn't come out the gate playing well and say it's week eight or nine, you turn to a young guy like Justin Fields who has all the playmaking ability outside the pocket. The thing about him is, can he be consistent within the pocket? Which has been a question mark also for Russell Wilson as well, because we know he likes to play off script too. So the good thing is with Arthur Smith, He's used to playing with mobile quarterbacks and calling games for mobile quarterbacks. So to me, Justin Fields just makes too much sense. To your point, right, I wouldn't be in a rush because it seems like nobody else is trying to trade for him. You could potentially get Justin Fields just for a seventh-round draft pick. So to me, you have to put a call in just to see what it would take to bring him in if you're looking for a viable backup quarterback. Talking about him as a backup, uh, but but I do think, like you said, Lee Jay, if Russ stumbles a little bit out of the gate, because it is clear they're going to go with um, uh, this could be a quarterback competition instead. And I will say, Lee Jay, I checked your Twitter. Yes, you did tweet this out. If I am the Steelers, I am calling the Bears for Justin Fields. <laughs> Most of the responses, though, saying the Jets need to put in that call. Pick Six Podcast, there's been so much news today. Aaron Donald retiring. Now the Steelers trading Kenny Pickett to the Eagles for all the latest NFL news. Pick Six Podcast is home.